with a Cattleya Holdenii you know, to keep him company. And that even rhymed. But I prefer PG tips or Titley's tea. I'm not too partial into these um, non branded, yes. I do like my branded tea. Having said all that, this tea is not for me. This tea I made especially for my Cattleya Holdenii. The question is why? Because this one obviously seems to be doing well. Well, basically, maybe five months ago, I wanted to do a rhizome cut when this new growth started growing because I had a lot of back end that didn't look too good. And I thought, okay, I'm just getting one lead. So it's growing now. I'm going to cut the rhizome. Well, I forgot that I had cleaned the orchid before putting it into Lekka with self-watering and I had chopped off roots. And suddenly this piece came in and fell out into my hand. So here is an experiment that I did courtesy and thanks to Rick L. Many, many years ago, he made a video about using black tea with some lemon to induce root growth, etc. I have to thank him for the survival of my Cattleya Maxima because that came to me with just three bulbs, no roots. Very disappointed, but it was his video that made me do what he instructed. And I'll show you a picture of my Maxima two years later. I got my Holdenii, thought I could do a rhizome cut. Instead, I ended up with two pieces and this one's doing now well in the pot again. It's rooting in, so I'm not particularly concerned. It is probably now going to start another growth. No, that is a beautiful shiny root tip. Happy days. And the back end, I was hoping maybe to stimulate something, but given the circumstances, it now really has to focus on the front. So the back end is starting to look a little bit worse for wear than what was actually the worst part of the plant. This section here was worse than what you see on the plant here now. So what's been going on? Well, I thought first put it on sphagnum and then I remembered Rick L. And in this little pot, I have just a smidgen of water. I mean, really just a little bit where the tip of the rhizome just rests on in the water. And sometimes it's just plain RO water with seaweed at 5.8 and sometimes I put in my 300 ppm for maybe a day, the one that I always use for my entire collection, and then take it out because clearly it has no roots, but something inside of me says that the tissue of the base of the rhizome is actually still absorbing humidity. I now want to put it into a solution of tea with lemon, and I thought I'd take you along for the ride because I have actually seen this work and I want my Holdenii maybe to produce a second cutting. In the meantime, this little cutting with no roots whatsoever has produced a new growth right here. So I would like to help it along and give it some tannins which resembles what they get out in nature when it rains, the tannins from the trees pour over the roots as they are absorbing it. It's like, it acts like a growth stimulant to um, activate the plant and it's superb for roots. I am not entirely expecting roots to come just yet on this one, but I can see that it has certainly not deteriorated to this degree, which has had no tea solution. So let's have a look. Clearly, this is uh, too much water. I'm not going to need all of it, but I can dilute it better and judge the color better because you don't want too much. So I have my beautiful black tea here. It is now has now cooled off. And I'm gonna add just enough to see that the color change just a little bit. This is not a science. This is not by any measure how much, how potent, TDS-wise, 
PVM wise. This is just to gauge a color. Because clearly my orchid can't absorb anything except from what I believe it can do at the rhizome. So all I'm trying to do is encourage it and give it some form of a boost. It can go a little bit darker. And I think that's about enough or more for good measure. There we go. Right. Over here, I have my pH meter in my normal RO water without any pH down. And I have a super high pH in my area. We have well water. It comes out at 8.5 sometimes. So my RO water starts out at 8.2. Uh, that's just not going to happen. They're not going to absorb anything by, with these kind of measures. So what I'm going to do is make sure that my pH in here will drop down to about 6. First of all, we're going to add a little bit of a growth stimulant as well as some potassium. Not much, but you know, a little bit of tea with lemon. How do you like your tea? With milk? One sugar? No milk? Tea and lemon? Comment below. How do you like your tea? I can tell you that the orchids love very, very weak tea with some lemon. My, myself, I prefer my tea to be strong, a little bit of sugar and some milk. So we know that the water, house water is 8.2. Let's see what we have on the pH now. It's going to drop down below 7, 6.9. All right, I don't want to add more lemon because I don't want, to, I don't need the potassium overkill as it's a very, very weak solution. But what I'm going to do is add a little bit of pH down. If this doesn't work the first time around, I will stop the clip, otherwise we'll be here all day. And then I will show you that it at six and then we will resume. So let's stir that up a little bit. And then let's go back. 6.1, 6.2. There we go. 6.09 for the decimal. Let's say it's 6.1. So instead of making a big deal out of this, that is perfectly fine for me because it is, I don't know if you can see it, but it is 6. On the 6.087, still going down a bit, but that's fine. That's, I'll take that. That's what I can work with. Now this solution here can come out. And this solution here can go in. Now you wonder, all this, to put a rhizome in into one centimeter of water. I'm gonna keep the water away from the growth. I mean, it covers the base and there's like one centimeter and the rhizome sticks in it. So all this for one, for a rhizome and a growth. Yes, I love my orchids. I can't, if it's green, I have to keep trying. If there's still a sign of life, I just can't put a green something into the garbage. And um, if it creates roots, great. If it doesn't, I did my best. But other than that, a little bit of tannic acid, a little bit of potassium, very, very weak solution. If you have this, these circumstances, I encourage you to try it. It worked for my maximum. And uh, why shouldn't it work for you? If you have roots, oh my goodness, you are way ahead of the game already. If you have roots, it helps even more. But if you don't, this cannot hurt and it could actually give you a beautiful, beautiful cutting that you then can gift away. So thank you very, very much for watching. Let's keep monitoring both ends and hopefully one day we will get some blooms. I really appreciate your presence. Any questions about this? Have you seen Rick's video? I will link his channel down below. He explains it probably much better. I can only explain it from what I have seen and the results I have had. Appreciate having you here. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.